Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day and today is Friday the 13th and uh, nothing scary or devastating happened. Nobody in a hockey mask tried to kill anybody as far as I know of so I guess I'll look at the news tomorrow and see if anything horrible happened. The whole Friday the 13th being a scary, you know, bad superstitious day has a lot of people looking for stuff it seems like and if you actually go back and look through history there's a lot of bad things and there's a lot of reasoning behind you know some of the people's thoughts and beliefs behind it but I'm not a superstitious type person I'll cross the path of a black cat I'll walk under a ladder could care less about any of that kind of stuff so I always find that seems like people who are the most afraid of those are the ones that will kind of seek out and look for all kinds of problems and stuff like that that would be in their life to kind of prove that was clearly a bad day so other than that um i'm just i don't know i'm not a person that reads a horoscope or that kind of stuff either so but today pretty much all we done was my wife and i um went up to um Atumwa and she had a certificate for a buy one get one free uh, dinner or lunch or something like that, I can remember, buffet at Sterling Stockade. That place is by no means, um, probably not even on my top 10 of restaurants, but it's one of her probably top three, and it's definitely her top one within an hour or two, well, actually within an hour drive. So, two hour drive, there's a couple places up in Des Moines that she likes a little bit better, but she didn't feel like going that far. So, we pretty much went up there, we ate, um, the woman that was ringing us up at the beginning of stuff we gave her the certificate told her we had to buy one get one free and charged us full price for the whole thing and my wife was getting you know she was like acting like there was no big deal i was gonna pay it and i had to kind of question them again i'm like your prices must have went up a lot if it's 17 plus dollars for one person here if we have to buy one get one free so then the girl finally eventually figured out what the hell i was getting at after we'd already told her a couple times she took the money off and we ended up with a seven dollar and some bill which was actually I think she took off too much I looked at the receipt on the way home she took off the drink also and it said we had to buy a buffet and a drink to get a free buffet but oh well so we end up actually a little bit cheaper than that um the food was i don't know it's never great they um one of the things they did have that i liked they usually had a carving station there that would have a nice big slow roasted piece of pork or like like a ham some kind of pork usually some polish sausage that was cooked a little bit better than what was on the buffet because it brings out a little slower so they don't have it sitting there for an hour or two before people eat it and they usually have a big piece of like you know roast or something like that or maybe even sometimes they'll have a few steaks in there almost always they're a little overcooked because you can't you'd have somebody freaking out if you had a medium rare steak and they didn't order it they just walked up and grabbed it like my sister-in-law would have a connection and probably have the health board in there even though it was fully temperature no fear there but they took that whole carving station out so the food was i guess a little less lacking and a little more lacking in my choices of what to eat but i went ahead i made the best of it they have a nice salad bar they have a handful of things nothing there is i'd say necessarily bad but usually by the time i make my first trip i'll grab just some stuff off salad bar and a small plate go back up i'll get a big full plate of other food and i'll eat it and it's i mean it's fine food it's just like you know sunday you know afternoon type grandma cooking but it doesn't have grandma's flavor so by the time I go up for my second plate of buffet, usually there's nothing else up there I could actually look at that I would want to have a second helping of. So, same thing happened again today, of course. Didn't want a second helping of anything, but it was lunchtime, so I didn't really feel like I wanted to eat nearly as much, although that was my only meal for the day because I didn't eat anything once I got home. I'm kind of a weirdo like that. I usually only eat one meal a day. The one shining example, though, of the meal was the waitress we had. I believe her name was Cindy, I believe, was an absolutely just uh, amazing waitress. I mean, she done a great job. Of course, she didn't have to take her order, but we did ask for, like, baked potato, or the, um, actually asked for Texas toast instead of baked potato. And she asked if we wanted it now or once we got our hot food because we were eating salad. We both told her now because by the time they got it cooked, we'd have hot food getting there pretty soon. So went ahead and done that. She was super friendly, super helpful. I would noticed a couple pieces of corn had fallen off, fallen off my plate and I'd slid it over to the end of the table to take. 
she asked every time if we were done with those plates and which is amazing most people don't i've seen waitresses actually reach across you to grab a plate that you clearly are saving whether it be a roll or whatever it is something else over there on the side reaching across to you which drives me nuts she actually had scooped up those two little pieces of corn after she took the plate and realized they'd fallen off and i haven't had a waiter or waitress do that and I don't know if I've ever had them actually, you know, take that extra moment there. Before we um, left, we were done with our meal and that. We were finishing up last little bit of our dessert. And I, you know, she was coming by to take our last bit of plates away. And I took the time to really thank her. We spent probably five minutes talking about it. Um, she basically, you know, was very thankful that I, you know, acknowledged the fact that she was such a great waitress. I really told her how great a job she'd done. Um, I have to think it made her day. She looked like she was the type that, when I told her, she did sound like she didn't get a lot of people saying that at the place. She also talked about a family who came in there and there was a large group of table on Easter Sunday, by the way, and they were super busy and these people were just like ultimately demanding the whole time. Like if their glass got a third empty, they're wanting a refill on their drink. If they're, you know, just constantly just, if there was one single plate sitting in the table, they wanted that plate off their table. And she said, just absolutely annoying and obnoxious from the moment they walked in to the moment they left and they left her a whopping 38 cent tip so it's one of those things that is absolute crap with people who treat people like that i've always said there's two things every person ought to have to do in their life is one they should have to actually um, be a waiter or waitress that's straight up and two they should also have to sell produce because if you don't learn how to sell it you're going to smell it so pretty much those two things in life are something everybody should have to do and you can tell a lot by a person by how they treat like a wait staff somebody beneath them who doesn't have the ability to fight back you can really get a lot of um i guess insight to a person's personality so we went ahead and after i left she was down by the ice cream thing helping out another lady work on it and she you know said hey thanks for coming have a great day and i made sure she knew that i left her 38 cents for her tip and if i would have had change in my pocket i would have left her a quarter and i had no change in my pocket but i would have went and found the manager and gave him her tip just to see the look on her face afterwards but i left her 10 bucks i mean i had a seven dollar bill and i left her a ten dollar tip so i figured that's the least i can do i mean the woman she's busting her butt she's like i said one of the best i've had in at least probably 10 years best waitress i've had in 10 years so i'm definitely a big fan of that i told her if her boss was there she's welcome to send him out and i'll tell her she deserves a raise too and she didn't send anybody else i don't know if because she knew normally works evening shifts her actual boss wasn't there but something i might do i might give a call tomorrow and talk to the manager and let them know how great the experience was so Anyway, if you guys ever have great weight, you know, staff, you have great service, take the time to not only tip well, definitely do that. They, they need that. They work hard for their money. She makes under five, I think she makes like four something an hour is all she makes because she's relying on tips. So it's one of those things that sometimes people make really good money when you're good, you know, when you're a good server, you'll make great money. And if you get bad service, I have no problem at all leaving somebody a penny as a tip to make sure they knew that i definitely know how tipping works i just think you sucked so i'm an average tipper most time unless i get good service i actually have tipped there was one table we had i left a 50 dollar tip at not something i do very often but it definitely makes somebody's day so anyway um thank you all for watching feel free to leave a comment at the bottom hit the like button or subscribe have yourself a safe and wonderful day